everybody, welcome back to my channel. Miss Natalie de Glam here. And if you saw the thumbnail, I think you know what we're doing. We're doing the Tiny Hands Challenge, everybody. I'm so excited. This is a little bit of an old challenge. I've seen a lot of big YouTubers do it. But I had these little guys just lying around. I figured what better time than to start a makeup look. Because, yeah, this is just the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, if you are looking forward to me doing my makeup with these guys, then go ahead and keep watching. Okay, guys, we are going to do my full face of makeup using these guys only. So I will take lids off of products if I need to because obviously it might be a little difficult, but we're going to get going. All right, guys, we're going to do our eyebrows first, and we're going to go ahead and get started with Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little. Oh man, I just dipped this into it hard. Like it is, there's so much product on here, guys. Okay, I got a mirror right in front of me here. And we are gonna, oh. <laughs> All right, and now we are just gonna go in with our Jeffree Star brush. And we're just gonna go ahead and fill in these eyebrows. Oh, they're coming along fabulously. How's everyone else's day going? I'm dipping in again. I hope everyone is having a nice, safe quarantine here. When I am filming this, I believe today is April 19th. It's a beautiful Sunday here. And I feel like this eyebrow is coming along very nicely. Oh, it is. Even though the brush isn't even pointed. <laughs> Okay, oh yeah, oh yeah. Can, can't you tell the difference? Oh man, it is stunning. And I'm just gonna kinda do these little <laughs> karate chop actions to get the pigment going on here. I'll, oh, okay, I think we're ready to move on to the next brow. Go ahead and dip in again. Oh, I'm losing my grip. It took me 10 minutes to get this grip. <laughs> okay, we're back. And now we are just going in and filling in this other brow here. Oh, it is coming along so good. What are your favorite brow products? Right now I'm using, like I said, the Anastasia Dip Brow, but I also have the Brow Wiz from Anastasia as well. And I find them even, oh, 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 saved it. <laughs> Gotta get creative. You guys don't do your brows like this? I think like this is a very good tactic to make sure you're getting those lines in the front. If you don't have, you have a lack of hair, like I do, you gotta really make sure you are just getting those fine line marks. Cause we want this to be a believable. Oh, I'm losing grip again. Okay, I think those look beautiful guys. I really think they are just making this look, my eyebrows look so good. Okay, now let's go ahead and move on to our next little part here. Okay guys, up next we are gonna prime our eyelids with our Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. Okay, now we're just gonna put this on our eyelids and this is going to prime for our eyeshadow application here. Oh yeah, it kind of helps if you just move your head instead of your hands. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, that's coming along good. And if you guys have noticed, oh yes, I did do my own nails. Aren't they beautiful? I know salons are closed right now, guys, but. Check them out, check those nails out. Oh, it's so beautiful. I wish my hands were really this flawless. Look at <laughs> Okay, now we're going to rub in our eyeshadow primer. Make sure we get that all over our lids. We're just using our hands for this. Rub it in really nice. <laughs> Love my other hands. <laughs> All right, might as well take advantage of both of my hands here. Be careful not to mess my eyebrows up. Okay, 
primer is on and, and now we're gonna set the eyeshadow primer with this wet and wild single shadow I usually use a shadow that is about the same color as my complexion I just like to use that set that primer get it ready for all the other eyeshadow we're about to apply on our lids using our very beautiful travel size so I'm cheating a little bit because these brushes are a little smaller than usual but my beautiful moda brushes that I will be using. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into that Wet n Wild shade here, get it on there real nice. All right, putting shadow all over our lid here. I'll go ahead and just fast forward through this real quick. All right. That is done. Now we're gonna move on to our eyeshadow. Very important, I picked this out here just for this. All right, we are using the Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette from e.l.f. And I've actually not tried this particular one, so it'll be a first for me and for you guys. But I have had some of the Bite Size that I have used, just not this one in particular. So I'm very excited, and I figured that Bite Size Palette would be perfect for this Bite Size look. And here is a little bit of a closer look on the palette we are using. The two middle shades here are the matte shades. There is a little bit of a black color that has some glitter in it. And then our shimmer shade over here, very beautiful. All right, now we're gonna be putting the lightest brown color into our crease here. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, I think it's really coming out good, guys. All right, I'm very impressed with the pigment on these e.l.f. eyeshadows. These bite size shadows only cost $3, guys, and you can find them at Walmart. All right, just trying to go back and forth and blend out those edges, but I feel like it's coming along very nicely. Very nice, I like it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye, still with the hands, I'm gonna do it off camera just to save some time since we are doing the whole full face. It's gonna, this video's probably gonna be long. Okay guys, now that we have that blended out, we are going to go in with the darker brown shade and we are going to work this into the outer crease here. All right, here we go, it's going, it's going in there. We are working it in, guys. Yeah, definitely helps if you're moving your head too. Like I'm doing a, we're doing a joint effort here. Ooh, all right, I'm definitely liking these, uh, besides the difficulty from the little baby hands here. Using this palette for the first time, I'm actually kind of impressed by it, even though it's a, a little messy at the moment. Okay, and if you can see, there is just a little bit of fallout going on in my cheeks here, but since I'm doing my uh, eyes first, that's not really a big deal to me. But, I don't know, I feel like I, like it doesn't look that bad. Like it's really not, it's a little messy around the edges. Which, let's go back into my other Moda brush that we were using for the first shade. And we are going to just kind of blend those edges out. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Oh yeah. I'm like not mad about it though. <laughs> All right, over here. Eyeliner is gonna be fun. Maybe we shouldn't even do eyeliner. There is a black eyeshadow in here. Maybe I'm gonna do a little more sharper tool and kind of just draw on a little black eyeshadow line instead of using liquid eyeliner because I'm a little, a little scared about it, to be honest. But let me go ahead and finish blending this out and we will get to that part. Well, the shimmer. We'll do the shimmer and then we'll do the black eyeshadow as a little bit of a darker on the lid there. Oh yeah, dropping everything. Okay, let's put some shimmer on our lids. Usually I just go right in with my fingertips here. So I'm just gonna stick, oh. Just gonna stick these little baby fingers into, oh my God, no. Oh, if you can see what's happening to the shimmer right now as I stick my little hands in there. It's not good. All right, so there's the color. So the right there is a beautiful kind of silver shimmer we are going to be putting on, on our lids here. I got a mirror down here if you see me looking. Oh, this is so beautiful, guys. Let me try to get close for you. Oh, it's, oh yeah. Trying to show you the dig in for my little fingers going in. I'm like, oh God. Well, I'm glad that I only spent $3 on this palette, even though it's real nice. But yeah, I was like,
to use this to blend out where I got a little messy with the shimmer here. We're just gonna blend that guy out, it's okay. Oh yeah. Getting a little more fallout, but we'll take care of that later. All right, let's do the same to the other side. Be right back. Now that we're back with both of those beautiful shimmers all over our lid here, I just th find this to be absolutely stunning. We are gonna try to put on a little eyeliner using the dark black. So right here I have a Luxie brush here I'm going to be using to dip in. All right, got myself fairly good grip here. And we are gonna just apply this black right where our lash line is. Oh yeah. Can you see it? If I hold it up like this. We're just gonna stamp this guy on. All over here. Oh yeah. Kinda darkened it up a little bit. You can kinda see the darkness opposed to this eye here. Definitely smoking it out just a little bit. You can tell that it is a little tad darker now. So I am going to be using a eyeliner pencil for the waterline down here. But like I said, we're not going to worry about that stinking liquid eyeliner. Who needs it today? We don't. Not me. All right. Now we're using our Luna by Luna eye pencil here. And we are, oh, going very carefully. into our waterline. Oh, nervous. Oh. All right, at least you guys are just, this is gonna be 45 minutes of this. <laughs> you have to have your mouth open to do this. It's just not, it's not possible to not do it. Tell me, tell me you don't do it when you do your eyeliner. Oh yeah. All right, got a little crazy with this side. We're just gonna take a Q-tip and clean this right up. That's okay. It's all right if you get a little messy. You can fix that right up. Oh yeah. Okay. All right, guys. I think that is looking gorgeous. I don't know about you. I'm gonna go a little more. All right guys, other than the fact that it looks like I'm crying right now, I feel like it's turning out pretty great. So we are finished with our eyeliner and everything for now. I will be doing mascara, but we're gonna do that a little later. We're gonna wait and we're gonna finish off this beautiful face here and be right back to put some primer on. All right guys, now we're going to be using the Ulta Beauty brand primer. This is the Cool Committee. And this guy is made with a infused green tea extract and it does have a cooling sensation when you put it on your face. All right, now we have a little bit in the fingertips here. Go ahead and rub that together and we are going to just rub this in to the skin here. And it is very luminous as you can see. But yes, it does have a cooling sensation and I quite like it. I, I think this was about $15, $16 and it is, like I said, the Ulta Beauty brand, but I like it. It's got some stuck in between my fingers. Let me try to get that out. And can't forget to put some on the forehead here. I'm gonna go and push my headband out of the way a little. And go ahead and try to avoid our eyebrows. We did already do those guys. You don't have to wanna touch them up too much later. I just feel so like, ugh. <laughs> it feels like I'm getting a facial massage from these little, these little baby hands. Make sure to bring a little down your neck. Okay guys, we got that all rubbed in. Now we are gonna go in with our foundation. Today we're using the Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation. So this one is the newer one of the two. This costs like less than $5. I find it to be very nice, I really like it. And I have my shade in Soft Ivory. But before I rub that all over my face, I am going to go damp my beauty blender so I can have a little bit more precision blending in this foundation. Okay, got my beauty blender ready. Let's go ahead. Uh, I hope I don't drop this. Oh, it has the foundation on it. Oh, okay. And we're just gonna rub this on her face very carefully so I don't drop this in my lap. Oh, 
Okay guys, got that on with that applicator. That was a pain. You know what, we're gonna go ahead and just use our hands today. We are gonna blend in this foundation and then go in with the beauty blender. But we're just gonna rub it all around. And I'm starting to realize that I got way too much and it's... <laughs> oh no. Oh, I stuck my finger at my nose. Okay, that's okay guys. There is plenty of room for mistakes. We learn from our mistakes. Let's go ahead and get it in between our eyebrows here. Oh, it is just looking so good, guys. Yeah, sometimes it just feels nice to use your hands. It just feels good. Oh yeah. Now let's try to fix some of this ridiculousness. And we have our Real Techniques sponge here, already damp and ready to go. And we are just going to be dabbing this all over our face, kind of get, oh, that's definitely working to get some of that extra product up off of us. Ooh. But it is making the sponge very slippery in my hands. <laughs> I'm like, maybe I should just roll it. <laughs> okay let's just give it a little roll oh where'd it go and i dropped my sponge on the floor so i'm sure it has a whole bunch of lovely cat hair in it this is so hard <laughs> it just doesn't you think that I could get a good grip with it but this like sponge is so slippery okay i think we're, we're getting out the hang of it a little guys I'm just gonna roll it on my forehead. I'm not even looking at my mirror, sorry guys. I'm like looking straight at the viewfinder. And I lost the beauty blender again. I think I got a good system down. I just um, been patting my face like so with the brush. And back in one last time with a beauty blender. I really want it to be blended in, guys. I'm trying real hard. I can see so much. You probably can't from the camera, but I have so much cat hair on my face. Oh, I can feel it, and it's horrible. Okay, guys, I think that's going to be as blended in as we are going to get here. To be honest, it is not the worst. It definitely got in my eyebrows here, so I'm definitely going to have to get those a little more filled in later. But let's go ahead and apply some powder. All right, today we're gonna use the Rimmel London Stay Matte Loose Powder here. And I chose this one because I don't remember if I bought it with a poof, but it has the perfect size poof for my little hand here. So this should make at least this step very easy for me. I spoke too soon. Let's try that again. I got it a little more secure. I've really been liking this powder. I've been using the Wet n Wild loose powder, but I had this in my drawer and I was thinking, I was like, I really need to start using this up. So I've been using it in my daily routines and it is actually a very nice powder. I don't recall how much it is, but it can't be more than $5, I'm sure. Make sure we get our, you know, on a crease under our eyelids. Oh man, and I totally forgot to use freaking concealer. But you know what? That's okay. Our face has been pretty clear lately, so oh. so no concealer today. Okay, powdered up. Now I usually just take a big powder brush and get rid of any excess powder that is on our face here. dropped this about 17 times so we are going to be finished wiping our excess powder off and now we're gonna be applying our bronzer guys all right bronzer I chose is the butter bronzer by physicians formula and I really I just threw it across the room okay now using another Moda travel size brush I'm gonna be going in with the butter bronzer and it just smells fantastic if you haven't tried this stuff I find it to be very nice so we're just making little circular motions going in and kind of patting it. And you want to apply this right in. We're kind of making it look like we have a 
slender cheeks here, so I very like the look we got going on. And we can't forget about our forehead here. And last but not least, we gotta make sure our jawline looks nice and snatched. All right, it's come along great, guys. Oh, losing it. Bring it down our neck a little bit. For the life of me, I cannot keep a hold of this one. All right, I think it is coming along very nicely, guys. Now we're going to move on to our blush, and today our blush option is, I gotta hold it against my body because it's not letting me pick it up, but the option today is our beautiful hourglass blush here in this very mirrored packaging. I really like it a lot. And just look at that beautiful shade there. I can't wait to use it. Using a similar Moda brush, I'm going to be putting this blush kind of a little higher up here. I like it, bringing it down, usually make a little face, and that is where I apply my blush. But I do like it a little bit higher up. So I'm just gonna be dotting that on. Trying, trying not to lose this brush here. I feel like I get a few pats before it starts going up and, uh, oh, it's going. Oh yeah, but look at that color. Oh, hair's in the way. Oh, we're definitely gonna have to blend that out a little bit, but you know what, that's okay. All right, other side here, guys. And I feel like this side is a little more sturdy. As I say that, it freaking starts to shift. So we're gonna use these little swirling motions to get it on this side, you know, whatever works. Okay guys, our blush is on and I find it to be stunning. I really like it. Let's go ahead and try to blend this bad boy out a little bit though. Because I feel like I definitely got a little carried away on this side. Gonna go ahead with our poof because it's easy. And just kind of blend out the outer edges of our contour and our blush here. So that we have a seamless transition. Oh. Guess I'm using, <laughs> guess this is how I'm doing now. <laughs> now that we're done with our blush, it's time to go and highlight. Got it. <laughs> we are using Milk Makeup today with our highlight. It's a beautiful rose gold shade. And it looks like this, but I'm sure the camera isn't doing it justice. Now we have our SL Miss Glam brush and we are using that as our highlight brush. Oh yeah, so you can definitely see something happening, at least in person here. You are getting uh, that beautiful highlight shine. Oh, go in on this side too. We gotta get down our nose here. I like a shiny nose, me personally. Get it right on the tip there. Oh, it's beautiful. And last but not least, we're gonna put a little highlight on our Cupid's bow here. All right, we're definitely getting the shine. I like it. And now's the time I go back in with my eyeshadow. We are going to use that light brown we put all in our crease. And we're just gonna put that underneath our lid here. I feel like it really brings the whole look together, it gives it a little bit more dimension here. Kinda smoke it out here. We'll go in with a darker brown shade as well. guys we got that light brown on well, now let's put a little bit of the dark brown and this and the darker shade I usually only put in the outer corner and kind of bring it in just a little bit kind of to like the middle of the eye 
but not all the way over so we still have that light brown in the more of the corner there. All right, that's awesome. Okay, we're gonna go in with our powder poof again so that I can easily kind of blend it out a little bit here as I got a little crazy, got a little bit of fallout on our cheeks, but not too bad. So we're just cleaning it up a little bit. I do want this to turn out well. I'm not going anywhere because it's obviously quarantine and it's probably like seven o'clock at night right now. So this is literally the highlight of my day and tell me guys, like I think it has been a fantastic journey so far. And before I finish my eye look, let's go ahead and put on a little liquid lipstick. This is the Jeffree Star Liquid Lip in the shade Celebrity Skin. One of my favorite shades. And I think it's going to pair wonderfully with this neutral brown look we have going on. Okay, now let's just apply this real quick. <laughs> Crap. Alright, I just love the color on the- oh! Got it all over my teeth. Uh, Alright, I think I just need to focus doing this instead of talking. It's already hard enough. Alright, I feel like this is a perfect nude lip that can fit most looks. I wear it most uh, days. And I just think this is a perfect nude look goes with very many things and I think it looks great and it's one of my favorites like I said. Now that our lips are done, let's go ahead and do a little mascara. And we will be using the Maybelline Lash Sensational. And I got this as a sample, obviously this is a sample size, so that's why it's a little smaller, so it makes it easier for me. But I do like this, I did get it as a sample in some lashes that I bought and I've been finding it to be pretty awesome. Okay guys, gonna concentrate on this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and just fast forward through. That was easier than I thought it would be as I go in for my second eye. And last but not least, a little lower lash action. All right guys, here we have it. The final full face of makeup using only these little baby hands. <laughs> I definitely had so much fun doing this. This was so hard to do. Like I dropped things so many times, you have no idea. I probably had to edit out a whole bunch of it. And now it looks like my camera battery is flashing. I have been filming for quite a while. But I think, to be honest, like yeah, it's a little, oh I didn't fix my, I didn't fix my eyebrows at well. You know what, let's just go ahead and Okay, all right, done, perfect. Uh, not really, but okay. But to be honest, guys, I really, other than the eyebrows I forgot to fix, don't think it came out like the op absolute worst. Like, if you saw me from afar, like right here, I feel like it is a very like smoky eye look, and I'm actually really impressed with the e.l.f. Bite Size palettes. Uh, like I said, this was the one in the shade Truffle, well the palette name. So yeah, I definitely recommend it. I am kind of loving it. Like from, yeah, like I said, from a distance, it really does not look that bad. Like I'm really happy with it. Okay guys, if you liked this challenge, if you liked watching me struggle with these little tiny baby hands, please give this video a like. Give it a big thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. That would be awesome. Thank you for coming along this journey with me. It definitely was fun. It definitely was an escape for from the real world. 
all the craziness going on so I definitely appreciate you guys watching and give me a round of applause if you liked it with these little baby hands guys I had so much fun okay guys well I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are and I will be seeing you all very soon bye